Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Prototype. Last time we released Elizabeth Green and some freaky looking monkeys. Uh, destroyed a military base, killed a lot of military guys, and in general started to fuck some stuff up. This time I'm going to explain something new. If you look at the minimap once again, and I just realized how many times I've said that, we, have n we now have some green emblems along with the other stuff. The green emblems are events. Basically, they're little mini-games you can do for extra el evolution points. They're another way to get evolution points. I don't think I'll show them off. If anyone asks, I might show a few of them off, but they aren't very necessary. But, but they are pretty fun, so they are certainly worthwhile to play. Let's see. There is, however, another event type. There are multiple event types. There's some for free running, some for gliding. We'll get into that in a bit. Some for a lot for killing. And actually, most of them are for killing. Right. Now then, do I have... It doesn't look like any of the events I want are available. So, we're going to head back to Dana's safe house. Come on. Wait. Hold up. Let me check my upgrades. Okay, some new powers, but what I really need is glide. And we'll get a boost to air dash. Sprint speed upgrade so we can run faster. And an increase to our jump. Now we can run farther, jump higher. But let me first explain glide. As after this hint is done. Right, okay. Now to use glide, all you gotta do is jump. And while you're holding the A button, uh, Okay, hold up. Okay, it's a little more complicated than that. First off, you jump, and while holding the right trigger, press A again, then you'll start gliding. It's a little... There are some uh, intricacies to it that I can't really explain. Like, for instance, you'll... Mm, like, say, if you start gliding while you're falling, like, glide at the last possible moment, you'll, st you'll get a decent amount of air, so it's a great way to keep on the move keep your uh, movement flowing. Anyways, let's start the next mission, and we need stealth consume. And I don't think I have enough for it. Weapon ready, vehicle disguise, stealth consume. Nope, I'm just a little short. Hmm. Well, I might as well show off one of the events then. Uh, let's see. Which one? Which one? Which one am I closest to? The foot race. And I'm back. Okay, there's the foot race right there. Okay, high flying. Start the event. Movement. Hit the waypoints as quickly as possible. Uh, I remember this one. Climbing straight up the tower. I remember this one being one of the most annoying. Okay, just keep going to the next waypoint. Uh, you'll uh, just get in close enough to the waypoint to let, let it glide towards you. Now the goal to these events is to get, uh, there's a timer at the top, and you, you're graded on your performance in either bronze, silver, or gold. The better the metal, the more evolution points you'll get at the end of it. Now we just need to fall to the last waypoint. And... How'd I do? Ah, silver. Oh well, I got all the evolution points I need and then some. Upgrades. Stealth consume. Now we can consume someone while disguised and we won't get ourselves spotted. I don't think I'll need any of the other powers at this point. Anyways, I'll see you guys back at Dana's safe house where we can start the mission. Pro and we're back. Does the name Karen Parker ring any bells? Well, it should. She was close to you. An ex-girlfriend. I have her address from the laptop. Get to her before the military makes her disappear. Look, if I can find this lead, you can bet they will too. Alex, be careful. All right. 
Now to get to our next contact, Karen Parker. Right throughout the game, you'll uncover other characters who will act as contacts and basically be there to give you your missions. Karen's going to be our next one. And in this mission, we're going to unlock some of the more some awesome stuff. Let me tell you. Getting to the knit and grit of what I love about this game. This is not looking good. Uh, speaking of which, this is our first red zone. As you'll notice, things are now seem to be on fire, and well, things don't look too good. Like this guy right here looks absolutely sick. In fact, he looks kind of zombified. Right, red zones are infected zones. They're in complete cha chaos and are are infested by both the military and the infected. We're distracted. They haven't secured Parker yet. Right, so let's just while they're distracted, let's just go to Karen. Enter the building. Karen Parker. I thought you were dead. I should be. Right now, we need to get out of the military cordon. You need to get us a vehicle. A military one, if possible. It's the only way we'll be able to get out of the district. That red stuff is spreading fast, person to person, building to building, street to street. It has to be connected to Elizabeth Green. Okay, now we need to find a place where we can get some... Get an APC, so we need to consume this guy. Okay. I don't want to expose myself, so if I could just back off real quick. Damn it. Someone else to see me. Hold up one second. And... Damn it! Ah, heck with it. I want to be an all stealthy and stuff, but no one's gonna let me. You come with me. And switch. Where can I find an APC? Parker, Karen I. DOB 1176. Doctorate, Genetics, Rutgers University, 7-2-2003. Hired, Gentech, Special Projects, 2-1-2002. Director, Genotyping, Level D Access, reported to Director McMullen, Raymond F. Romantically involved with Mercer, Alex J. Wanted for questioning. Subject is to be detained and transferred to Base 6, Charlie Alpha 1. Well, a subject will be going to char base Charlie 6 Alpha 1, and I want my rifle. Ah, fuck it. Pay no attention to the Black Watch free running. <laughs> or gliding. I'm not here! Alright, come on. How further? Shouldn't be too far. In fact, we're coming into the blue zone right now. Right, we just need to find the Duke Nukem of this base. And jump. Here we go. There he is, right there. Right, I've already covered base infiltration. We just gotta grab him without anyone noticing us. Okay, stealth consume. Once you're behind someone, first you're gonna press right bumper for disguise abilities. And once you're behind someone with the right bumper held, press B button and stealth consume. It's like the thing, only a superhero. Now we can head on inside to the motor pool. I don't know how to operate these vehicles, but someone here does. Right. 
Now, anytime you're inside a base, you can there will sometimes be people you can nom on for upgrades. These are upgrades you can't get normally through evolution points. You have to find these guys in bases and consume them. Like this guy right here, he's going to teach us how to drive an APC. If my joystick will stop fucking up. And... Damn it. Yes, got it. Welcome to the Marine Armor Training Center. There are 19 major systems in this Marine Armored Personnel Carrier, and over 25,000 moving parts. In the next eight months, you will learn all of them. When you're done here, you'll be able to park that vehicle on top of an enemy position and blow the shit out of them. It's my job to get your shit in order. It's your job to shut the fuck up and learn. Right, now we can hijack and pilot enemy armor. Now, but before that, I'm gonna go on a bit of a di uh, buffet here. I'll try not to take too long, just gonna grab a few guys, numb on them. Spread a bit of the old paranoia. I love stealth consumes. Oh, is that one all by himself? Come on. I want to see if I can... Ah, fucking joystick. There we go. Okay, we'll just take our leave and exit the base. Now we can just hop into that APC and drive it back to Karen Parker. I know exactly how to drive this thing. Alright, okay. Try to avoid running over anyone. Well, military targets. Pardon me. Excuse me. Don't try to avoid running over civilians. It's not worth the effort. Okay, now I just gotta figure out how to get into there. Head down this street and take a ride, I'm guessing. Yep. Pardon me. Someone should probably clean that up. And that, and that, and him, and that, and just, in general, just, this place needs cleaning. Okay, probably should explain, do I really need to explain driving a tank? Left stick moves the tank body itself, right stick moves the uh, top of it in the turret. You can use left trigger to lock onto things, although uh, some, it'll take some time for the main gun to swivel to your target. Okay, let's see if I can get in through here. Yeah, I can. Okay, you have your primary Target tank, which is the main... Okay, right, we gotta clear things out. Okay. For the APC, the main gun is a, uh, I'm gonna guess, 10 millimeter cannon, 20 millimeter, where the right trigger is a rocket. Well, right bumper, actually. Right trigger is the cannon, right bumper is the secondary weapon, which in this case is a rocket. Oh, crap. And I pissed out the military. Awesome. Right, now we just park this over by Karen Parker. Excuse me. Are not. I guess we were most mostly just practicing with an APC.
Excuse me. Pardon me. Just cutting on through here. Oh, look. The door's closed. Knock, knock. Okay, this right here is a hive. It's an infected base of operations. While this thing is up and run up, the uh, infected zones are going to have infected all over the place. Just, if you want things to calm down in an infected zone, just open up on it and destroy it. Easiest to do when you have a, a vehicle of some kind. Okay, don't focus on the infected, focus on the hive. Oh, you're probably uh, going to want to take note of the upper left-hand corner. That's your vehicle's health bar. That goes down, you lose your vehicle, it'll explode, you'll take some damage, and lose your vehicle. Okay, hold up, let's have the main gun cool down a bit. Ah, I wish I hadn't used up all my rockets. Just keep focusing your fire on the hive. There we go. And once the hive's taken down, all the the infected drop dead. Now I just gotta pick up Karen. This is where we and should go. I'll mark it for you. Thank you. Let's just get there safely. I'll try, but the military's kind of on our ass. I really like the infected zone when all, where all the infected are dead. It's very... It's not as haunting as it is in the intro cutscene, but it's still pretty haunting to come through, through a red zone and everything is just dead. It feels like a ghost town. Then you get back to a blue zone and everything's filled with military and pe pedestrians running around getting in front of your tank. I have a tank. I have the right of way. Piss off. Tank equals right of way. Did they not teach you this? And we gotta cut through the military base. Just try to avoid running anyone over. So much for that! Shit, they've got us. We gotta get out of their sights and stay hidden. Son of a bitch. Oh, shh. Oh, fuck. Okay, now that I've killed the hive again, maybe I can actually be a decent chauffeur. And why are the infected still rocking around? Let's just pick up Karen Parker and get the half out of here. This is where we should go. I'll mark it for you. Please, let's just get there safely. Right. Okay, let me just take a look at the map here. Okay, we're gonna go. Keep going straight. Until we hit West Harlem, then we'll turn turn right. If you keep going straight, you have the right of way. By the simple fact that you're an APC and these guys are not. Get out of the way, people. Okay, looks like I that is my turn. I think I lost my turn. Uh, I can take this next turn right here. Excuse me. I really have no reason to just fire upon the civilians, but nah. I've got to invest into a bit of psychopathy. Psychopathic. Psychopathy. How do you use psychopath as an adverb? F 
freaking English language. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. Excuse me. Okay, we're almost there. And here we are. Let's park that right there. And how many civilian casualties were we looking at? S oh, wow. The infected actually took more casualty this time. Usually it's uh, the military that suffers twice the amount of casualties. Did I ever tell you Karen and I were together once? Pictures of us at my apartment. At least I assume that was us. Karen worked at Gentech. Maybe she could explain what was going on with me and how to control it. I know now. Freeing Elizabeth Green was a mistake. She was a monster. Infecting everything she touched. Get to Green. Find out who did this to me. I thought she was the key to all of this. And was she? In a way. I knew we were connected. Victims of a common enemy, subjects of a common experiment, and I didn't know. But I had Karen. And we were going to put a stop to this thing together. Four percent total population infected. Okay, before I leave off, I want to do a bit of basic math here. Just, uh, just give me one moment while I take a look, look up some stuff. Okay, it's not giving me a population in 2009, but I'll use the 2011 population, which was 1,601,948 people. Now, if we take that number... Okay, if Google is doing this math right... Currently, there are 64,077.92 people infected in the New York City area. Well, Manhattan area. Lovely. And that number is only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So, on that melancholy note, that's going to be it for me for now. I have been Evil Homer 91 See you next time for more of Let's Play Prototype. Hope to see you all then.